I was originally really drawn to the course because not only the region is connected to my own studies being in South Asia, but also the attributes of Sri Lanka itself really connected with my studies and post-conflict studies. Ethics, warfare, seeking justice and uh, tribunals. We would often go sightseeing uh, with a lot of the local PhD and master's students and be given our own private tours and their recollection of their own history, which added a new dimension that we also weren't getting in the classroom or wasn't being provided in the classroom. And so you get all those layers toppling on top of each other and all of a sudden you have this really fruitful day. One of the awesome components of the course was having that mix of masters and undergrad students. Usually we're kept so separate and isolated that there is no exchange there. I mean, the undergraduates have, I would say, far more open minds to new ideas. They're not as locked in their own research projects or their own um, research agendas, that having that diversity within those intense spaces amplified our, and essentially broke the master's students out of their mould. Courses like this make you realise how important certain individuals are to your learning experience and your university experience and just your growth as a human being. I mean, Bina is one of those people that not only instills clarity in you, but she also draws out the best in you. This was the last semester of my master's degree and it was the first time I'd gone overseas for university and after the kind of intense learning experience, the new learning experience, it kind of shattered my ideas on how learning should be done.